Today we're gonna try to do all the bowlers in the gym. I've done this once before, uh, but then I did it alone. Now I have some help. Yeah. <laughs> you can do the fives and the six, some, some of them. Yeah. And Marcus can do a few as well. And I think I'm gonna ask on Instagram for questions. So we're gonna do like a live Q and A thing. Yeah, I think that's gonna be fun. Yeah, I think we'll get a lot of interesting questions. We're gonna do it upstairs. But I think today we'll start on uh, Slab of the Week. It yeah. looks pretty interesting this week. We always do Slab of the Week at the end of the video. This time we're gonna do it at the beginning of the video. So last time I did this, it took me about five hours, but with your help, I think it's gonna take half of that time or something. Yeah. And also now I have someone to film. Last time I was like walking around with my tripod, putting it down then climbing, putting it down. Okay, no warming up, just straight on the slab of the week. It's probably not a good idea, but. Not a good idea. <laughs> I would not warm up on this bowler if it was like a crimpy, like a gnarly crimpy bowler. But this is so slopey, it doesn't really matter. Nice. So this video is about to get a lot more interesting. We're gonna get a lot of questions. Yeah, what kind of questions do you think we're gonna get? I think people are gonna ask about what your training program is, what you eat in a day and stuff like that. Yeah. Don't you think so? I feel like that's what people- Those are always hard to answer. Yeah. So hopefully we'll get a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. And then we have to choose. We can't, I don't think we'll be able to answer all the questions. So we'll just choose the most interesting ones. Yeah. You can you can be in charge of selecting. I can do that. Yeah. And you can read them up out loud. Yeah. And then we'll just answer them as we go. Yeah. And check out the rest of his phone as well while I'm <laughs> while I'm on it. <laughs> so it looks like it might still be closed actually. Hmm. Oh shit. Yeah. So I knew they were renovating. It was supposed to be done before the weekend, but we cannot climb up here now. So we'll just have to do the floor down low, the second floor. Yeah. But that's where all the hard bouldering is anyway, so. Okay, so we're gonna have less bouldering? A little bit less bouldering, why are you smiling? <laughs> no, I, <didn't laughs> but I was just kind of preparing for the hardest uh, session of your session, life. Yeah. <laughs> We're filming a q and I mean, this is not really a Q&A, but it is Q&A as well, I guess. We are filming a Q&A for a YouTube video. Ask questions below, ask anything, share. It's gonna be interesting. Now the questions are gonna come in and we should just start bouldering. Yeah. I think I'm gonna start off with a couple of 60 pluses. Okay, so this orange 60 plus. Here we go, first bowler of the day. I'll nice. do another one while I'm at it. Okay, another 60 plus. So I think after warming up a little bit, I want to try some of the hardest ones because I definitely don't want to be too tired. And there's actually, there's a 7A slab that I haven't done. I tried this uh, at least like 10 or 15 times last session without being able to do it. Jesus. So that's the one I'm the most nervous about yeah. actually. Purple, I think it's like a four or something. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then we can read some questions. Yeah. Okay, four plus. <laughs> Just kidding. Oui. Oui. Nice. Oh, damn, that's so much. Yeah, that's what I was saying. 
Look, there's this because Marta was like, we should put out the story now before like earlier today because we need more questions. And I was like, I think we're gonna get enough two questions. Uh, well, there's one easy one. How old are you? I'm, tw I'm 31. Uh, when did you climb your first 8B? My first 8B was Fuego and Arco. I think it was 2002, so that's 18 years ago. What is the hardest route you ever climbed? That's Alejo Sit Extension 9B in Rodear, Spain. Do you look forward to a marriage? <laughs> we'll see. Look at that answer. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> There's so many. What did you want to do when you were a kid? I actually wanted to be a lawyer when I was a kid. Oh. Really? Yeah. It's like a mature thing. I think it was there was a, a TV show uh, that inspired me, but that was just a like a for a year or something. I really yeah. wanted to be a lawyer. Okay. Have there been any points in your climbing career where you wanted to stop climbing? Yeah, actually a few times. Yeah. 2006 when? was one time. Then I was like, I just had a year where I was not motivated at all to climb. Mm -hmm. It comes and goes, uh, especially when it becomes your job. It's like, it's hard to always uh, stay motivated. 2006 was actually a little bit before it became my job. After it became my job, I kept climbing even like when I wasn't motivated just because it was my job and I mm -hmm. had to. Yeah. But in 2006, I could allow myself to climb a little bit less because it wasn't, I wasn't a professional then. Hmm. Tips on getting girlfriends into climbing. That's, uh, <laughs> you, can, uh, you can answer that one. I can answer that one. I don't know, you have to kind of uh, convince the person that uh, climbing is a way of working out without actually feeling that you're working out. Yeah. And also try not to like be too controlling of what, uh, like of how you're supposed <laughs> <laughs> Is this crazy? No, <laughs> I mean, it's great to give advice. That's yeah. a really good thing. Uh, but also sometimes the it's tone not of so your voice just changed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, it's I mean. great to give advice. <laughs> but <laughs> no, I'm okay, I'm gonna do another bowler. This yeah. is not fun. <laughs> okay. Should start doing a little bit something a little bit harder now. And uh, we have showed some of these bowlers that we're gonna try today. We have showed in previous vlogs, mm -hmm. but we have to repeat them because we're gonna do all bowlers on the second floor today. Yeah. Okay, that was enough warming up. I'm gonna try this 7C, green one. Uh, this one is actually pretty hard. I think if we start failing, or if I start failing now, mm -hmm. I won't be able to complete uh, all the bowlers, because then I'm gonna be too tired by the end of it. Mm -hmm. So I yeah. need to do all the bowlers, uh, I mean the hard bowlers, I need to do them pretty quickly. What do you love more, rock climbing or Marta? <laughs> That's an actual question. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to answer that one. <laughs> no, I love you more. Thank you. Really nice. Oh. That was so nice to get that one first try. Yeah. This is slab five plus. How many? How many one arm pull ups can you do? I can do ten one arm pull ups on a good day. No. Yeah. Nice. I'm already a bit tired, actually. <laughs> already. Yeah. Okay. Another question. What kind of chalk do you use? What kind of chalk do we use? Uh, petzl. Yes. Yeah. Yes, mainly petzl, but as you know, I like all types of chalk. So. <laughs> It depends on the occasion. There's so many questions about like how do you train and how often and how long. Yeah. And those, they would require like a long video because I don't train, it's not the same uh, training plan every week or I don't even have a training plan. Right now I just climb whenever I feel like it, I train whenever I feel like it, so. so what would you say like a, like an average climbing session would be for you? Like when you're just here for like maybe an hour and a half? Yeah, then it's usually just boulder on the 
on the preset wall. Well, I usually start off with like some canvassing and, and hangboard, mm -hmm. uh, the beast maker. Then I boulder, just go around, try bo different boulders. Uh, maybe I go downstairs on the chaos wall, do a couple of bowlers there, make a couple of bowlers, and then I usually do a little bit of like pull ups, weighted pull ups at the end of the session. Yep. Yeah. That's usually how That's it looks a good like. Answer. Are you going to compete again? Not in World Cups uh, or any international competitions, I don't think, but I could probably comp like in invitationals or even like Norwegian championships or stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Maybe I could see myself doing like a mini comeback. How much money do you make in a month on YouTube? I can't answer that. Um, how fast can you take your shirt off? We actually timed this the other day because we're going to write that on a t-shirt. This t-shirt can be removed in zero point something seconds. And I did it in, I think it was 0 0.5 something seconds. Jesus. <laughs> that's fast. So it's pretty fast, yeah. Will you help me learn Norwegian? Well, we are trying with the videos now. We talk a little bit of Norwegian here and there. Uh, we're going to try to make a better job at translating it so that people can follow what we're saying. Yeah. Uh, but that's a good way to uh, learn Norwegian, I think, just to follow the videos and whenever we talk Norwegian, uh, look at the subtitles to check what we're actually saying. <laughs> Uh, Marta has a really funny dialect, so you're probably not going to understand her, but... <laughs> Just kidding. I have a funny dialect too. Do you want to do it? We have to keep going, yes. I think. Yes, I'll... Do you can have the phone. I'm actually going to just rapid fire a few. I'll start with a purple, that's a 7A. I mean, you, I you know my diet. Yeah, he like doesn't have a diet, and I think <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think it's good though. You kind of like you eat uh, healthy food, but you also eat unhealthy food whenever you want to. Yeah. Yeah. Not really a strict diet. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I used to be on a strict diet when I was competing, but not anymore. So this was the red one, is seven B. place that you really want to climb that you never have gotten to climb? Oh yeah, many places. Mm -hmm. Like Yosemite, it would be nice to go to that cave in China, Yongshu or whatever it's called. There's uh, a lot of places in South America actually, like Patagonia, that'd be nice. It'd also be it would be nice to go to uh, Indian Creek, that's jamming. Yeah. That's oh. like, Pete would love that, but, like that's only jamming. Yeah. The cracks are just so clean, so you can't use any other technique than just jamming. Yeah. That's track climbing. That's just to mention a few. Yeah. And I'd like to go to, on some like bouldering trip again too, because that would be easy to film for mm. YouTube. Fontainebleau would be really nice to go to. That's mm. a really famous area in, uh, in uh, close to Paris in France. Mm. And it's so accessible, like it's so easy to, to just go around and it's like not hard to find and the topo is really nice. And, and Switzerland would also would be nice for bouldering and South uh, South Africa near Cape Town is also a very famous oh. place for bouldering. Hmm. Okay, so that's a lot of places. And who is your biggest inspiration? Chris Sharma was always like the, the best climber. When I was growing up, he was like the best climber and mm -hmm. everyone was looking up to him. And it's because of him I did yoga for the first time actually <laughs> when I was 12 years old because he was he was very into yoga and I wanted to be like him, so of course I had to do yoga as well. <laughs> I'll continue with the next bowler meanwhile. Yeah. You can do that. Um, the pink one there, that's a pretty hard one actually. First, Yeah. <laughs> uh, what was the scariest moment of your, uh, of your life? Can you like recall anything? <sighs> the scariest moment of my life? I can't recall any like really scary moments. I remember there was one victory jump I did. You know, a victory jump is when you top out a route mm -hmm. and you like clip out the, the anchor and you jump. Mm -hmm. And I remember I was standing on the top of the route and I jumped really far out. And then I didn't realize how much speed I had going out. And then I realized like when the rope started taking, there was like 20 meters in and I knew that I was going to slam right into the wall. And I remember the, my, uh, my, an my ankle got a little bit uh, messed up. 
and Jeez. also the impact was so hard. Luckily, I, I hit it the wall perfectly, but I smashed my head into my knees because <sighs> my my legs couldn't even like it was pretty bad. But it's the adrenaline, you know, when you top out a route and you're so happy yeah. and you're just like, okay, I'm gonna jump and you just like run out from the wall and then, yeah, I didn't really think about that. But Jeez. I was like limping around for a couple of months because of that. But of course, like it's, it was such an embarrassing moment that I pretended like it was fine. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that's a good example. Okay, do you wanna yeah. concentrate please? Do it right. Well, now. Well, fucking tea, though. Marcus, I think you have to do this one. Yeah. <laughs> I have done this many times before when I warm up. I don't know what's. I'll try the pink one again. This one has a jump start. So I'm gonna do five. Okay, so Marcus is just warming up in the background. Collab with uh, Andra, when, question mark. It was supposed to happen this spring, but then Corona happened. So I honestly don't know when or where it's gonna be. If he travels by Oslo, it would be easy to do it here. Otherwise, I wouldn't mind going to Czech Republic to film at his place. We just need to start the dialogue again because it kind of died out because of the Corona. What is your favorite slippers? Easy question. The Drago is my favorite slipper. Right now I'm using the Fury S. I also like those, but I think I prefer the Drago just because it's a, uh, for me it feels a little bit stiffer and I feel like they, they last me a longer time and they're more comfortable on my shoe or my foot. <laughs> what is your favorite cardio training? I actually like doing intervals on the climbing wall, like doing laps. I haven't filmed that in YouTube videos just because it's really boring to watch, but I used to do a lot of like five, like climbing a route five times in a row. Uh, without resting and then doing that multiple times uh, that's probably i mean that is my favorite type of cardio as well as i actually like running as well but i don't do it that much wrong knee shorts anytime soon yes we're working on shorts backpack uh, chalk buckets 
uh, new hoodies and new t-shirts right now. So there's a lot of new products coming out. Marcus to yeah. the rescue. Yeah, I'm gonna try the blue 5 plus yeah. that Mark uh, didn't want to do. Didn't want to do. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, come on, get your foot up, left foot up, yes. Yeah. Yay. Have you been training, Marcus? No, that was, that was really <laughs> soft. Yeah. I think you should try yellow. Yeah. 6P. And, if 6P. I, and if I can't do it, then Marcus has to try. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. Cool. But you can do it, you've already done it. Yeah, I've done this one time, but I struggle a lot with it. So, yeah. we'll see. It took you many tries, but when you eventually did it, it looks super easy for you. Yeah, but the moves are really, really big. Yes, come on. Bye. No, that? Yeah. Jesus. And even just jumping down like it's nothing. Yeah. That was really nice. Yeah, that's... Uh, so I'm not the one. <laughs> Sorry. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on, Marcus. This one's good. Top ball is good. Come on. Get it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's so heavy though when you're standing like this yeah. for such a long time. I just missed yeah. the top ball. You can take a break if you want. How did you and Marta meet? We met. Uh, through social media, and we met at the uh, like isn't it like an Itali Italian restaurant yeah. slash bar in Oslo? Yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we should have asked for questions for you guys too. Yeah. Marcus, you said that you've been getting some requests too, right? Yeah. Uh, there was this one guy who said he made figurines. Yeah. So it's called. So he wanted, he wanted your contact info from me, so he can make you like this kind of wax figure. <laughs> wax I think. Figure? Yeah. <laughs> like miniature. Yeah, yeah a miniature. Uh... Oh, that'd be nice. Oh, and also I got a really funny. One second. Just gonna get home. Yeah, Mata's gotten a lot of requests about her feet. <laughs> People want to buy uh, photos of her feet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can like. <laughs> Just the other day, it came for, like she was shouting from the bat, uh, from the bedroom, like, "There's another one, Magnus. <laughs> There's another one who wants to buy my <laughs> photos." Yeah, okay. Here's the most recent. Hey, weird question. Just wondering if you would be interested in selling foot videos or pictures at all. Yeah. <laughs> How much? <Are> you? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's no, never. Maybe we should like uh, I can take a picture of your feet and just send it to him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> should I do that? That's a response. I can do that. No, don't do that. <laughs> I don't want a guy jerking off to my feet. <laughs> I don't know, other like you know, for people with foot fetishes, do they have like gender preferences? I mean, it's just feet. I don't know. I'm pretty sure <laughs> they have gender. Below, guys. <laughs> okay, when you started climbing, did you start bouldering and building strength or start on big walls? When I started climbing, bouldering wasn't really a thing. Hmm. We had a boulder room, but that was just to play around in. Uh, so I started climbing with a rope, but not on big walls, but like single pitches. Yeah. So like up to 16 meters, like the wall we have behind us here. That's what, how I started. And also when I started, there was no like bouldering competitions, nothing. So uh, bouldering is a relatively new sport compared to sport climbing. Hmm. And that's, I think that's why, because I have probably more like the physique of a boulder, but I've always just been into lead climbing just because that's what I started with. And I think all the people I looked up to, that's what they did, so. Yeah, are boulders, bo are boulders more, like they're bigger? They, they, yeah, usually 
more bulky, have bigger mm. muscles. They don't mm. need to be as light. Consider coming to US Gritstone and do some trad. Yeah, that would be fun. What's trad? Trad climbing, traditional climbing. Oh. Just uh, <laughs> put it when you put in your own gear instead of bolts. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, Isn't that dangerous? Just the bolts? It depends. Control. It yeah. completely depends. If it's a clean crack, it's almost like a bolted route. But you have some really spicy climbs that is like if they're hardly protected at all it can can be dangerous mm. any new updates on the new rock climbing gym um we're gonna tr go down to christian sun pretty soon i think to make an update on the the whole building process mm -hmm. but it's gonna be done i think it might be a week or two delayed so probably mid-september it's gonna be finished yeah. yeah but we probably can go down there a little bit before and start making a few videos before the opening So Marcus, now you just need to do the red one and we're finished with the section of the wall. Come on. Yes, nice. Come on, Marcus. Yeah, nice. Okay, so that's one wall yes. finished out of like 16. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is a very general question, but a lot of people ask, what do you recommend for someone who just started climbing? Or like tips for completely uh, I've new climbers? I've said it a hundred times, but that's yeah. just to climb a lot. And also to find a group of people who kind of inspires you, someone who's fun to hang out with. Mm -hmm. I think that's important. And I think if you want to progress faster, you should climb with climbers who are better than yourself. Not a lot better than yourself, but, like a little but bit. just a little bit. So you always want to be sharp and on, mm -hmm. on edge, kind of. Mm -hmm. Are you thinking about uh, doing any outdoor routes? I think it would be fun to go on like an outdoor trip mm -hmm. when the borders, I mean, the borders have opened, but people aren't really encouraged to travel right now. So I would probably wait a little bit, but I think it'd be fun to do like a, either to like Kalimnos or somewhere where it's like easy to climb a lot and film a lot. Mm -hmm. And then I would probably do like every other day of filming and climbing. So I would do one day of climbing without filming and then one day of filming mm -hmm. and climbing. Did you have fear of heights when you started climbing? Yes. You did? Yeah, in the very beginning I was, uh, I thought it was scary, even top roping the, the wall in Bergen, the 16 meter wall. Yeah. I don't know, I, I didn't trust the rope. Mm -hmm. So when the instructor like the first time told me to just trust the harness and like sit back, mm -hmm. it didn't feel right. Mm -hmm. I still remember that feeling. Yeah, that's, uh, I understand that. <laughs> what are the challenges with dating a climber? That's for you. <laughs> That's for me. I mean, there aren't really any challenges, I feel like. I mean, when I when we started dating, you you didn't, you, like, you were not competing when we started dating. So it's yeah, not... Yeah, it's... I don't really yeah. consider myself, like, a hardcore climber anymore. Yeah. I spend most of my time making videos and editing. And, of course, climbing and training, too. But I'm not, like, a climber in the sense I used to be. Because mm -hmm. I used to just travel and climb. and spend the whole day outside at the crag. I don't really do that anymore. Um, so I guess you don't really know how it is to date a climber. No, I don't really know. <laughs> so this bowler I flashed in another video. Now let's see if I can do it again. I think I was a little bit lucky when I flashed it, so. I think another problem here is gonna be the skin. Yeah. I remember that was a thing last time too. And that's why I'm saving the slab that I haven't done yet. That takes a lot of skin, so I'm saving that for a little bit later. Oh, 
Oh. Oh. Uh, I forgot that foothold. Really don't have that many tries in me, so if I don't do it quickly, then I might be screwed. Then I have to do it. Yeah, then you have to do it. <laughs> Now. It's so annoying when you've done it, when you've like flash a bullet and then you can't do it again. What the hell? really struggle to see the holes. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna try the bowler, the, the blue one, I'm gonna try again afterwards, but I can't spend too many tries on that because then I'm not gonna be able to do any of the other bowlers here. So but this one is uh, 7 plus. plus, that's also pretty hard. Cruise control. Yep. Fun. <laughs> Have you got again? <laughs> Come on, Marcus. Yeah. Go again, left hand, maybe. Oh. Come on.
starting to hurt so bad. Especially those small ones. Yeah. You just dig into the skin. It's gonna be so hard for the slabs. <laughs> yeah. Over there. So the Wim Hof uh, boulder. <laughs> Slopers are super greasy. Yeah. Full of chalk. I think this is a very popular boulder. I feel um, bad for you guys since you are the best climbers here. Yeah, like we have to finish the boulder, so you guys have to do all the hard ones. Because to me, even the five pluses are being are feeling really uh, hard right now. You're saying you're done? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, obviously I can't be done. I just can't imagine how you felt when you did the all the boulders. Yes, 100 boulders I did in one session, and I filmed everything myself too. That's insane. Because now we just have one floor to film. Yeah, and we're three people. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm always crying because I feel like my under my forearms are hurting really bad. <laughs> what was the reason for you uh, deciding to stop competing? Uh, the reason was just because I had done it for 15 years, mm -hmm. and I just felt finished. I had no motivation for it uh, anymore and I feel like I should probably have quit two years before I did because the last two years I was just doing it because I felt like I had to not because I wanted to mm -hmm. obviously then the results were suffering because of that and the last two years were probably some of my worst years in competing so yeah I was I was also excited about starting a new chapter of my life doing like opening this climbing gym and also starting the YouTube channel and all that stuff so yeah. Anton asks if you miss Anton. <laughs> Anton. <laughs> yes, I miss you, Anton. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> okay, I'll try this uh, 60 plus.
see on the camera how shiny the sides of the holes are. Yeah, yeah the dual it's, texture. Yeah. The sex toys. <laughs> sex toys. <laughs> It's very hard, six people. Yeah, so hard. Come on. Oh. How the f Come on, come on Marcus, nice, easy, get your foot up. Oh, oh, so <laughs> That's so painful. I think you just have to speed run this. Come on, go for that. All two, come on. Come on, hang on there. Sorry. <laughs> it's a big move, that last one. You probably get him tired too. Maybe Marcus, you wanna yeah. try that? I can try it. Oh, come out. Nice. nice. <laughs> Who uh, wants to try the orange? You want to try it, Marta? What is it? 6A, I think. Yeah, I can try it. Yeah. So you can have some breaks. Left foot up. Come on. Yes, easy. Yeah, right foot up. And left foot up. Come on. Come out. Nice. Left foot up. Come on. 
Come on. Come on. Oh, <laughs> I have no strength left. <laughs> Just peels off. Come on, Marcus. Oh, I'm so. I'm so. <laughs> We're getting pretty sore now. Yeah. Doing the blue one, <laughs> I think it's gonna be impossible. The one I'm gonna try next is the uh, black. And that's uh, actually a boy that took me many, many tries. It's really hard going around the edge there. Doesn't look so bad, but I don't know if I'll be able to do it now. It's actually a jam. Jam this. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Yeah, that heel hook, I mean, I've tried it before, that's why I did it. I knew that I had to do that heel hook. Yeah. Because I tried so many other ways. But it's it's a desperate baller for me. That's a 7A plus? Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm really happy for you that you did it on your first try. So yeah. You have to. Me too. Yeah. So now I have to do blue. Yeah. And then do the impossible slab. We can, get, we can read some more questions now, though. Yeah. yeah. sports growing up other than climbing? Yes, I did. Uh, I've done a little bit of cross-country skiing, which is like, in Norway, that's just like how, like swimming or uh, cycling. Mm -hmm. yeah. You have to learn how to, uh, to cross-country ski. I yeah. didn't know that. <laughs> well, you didn't know what? That you've been cross-country skiing. Uh, I just on like vacations with oh, my okay, family okay, and stuff, holidays. That. Done uh, uh, soccer, mm -hmm. which most kids in Norway um, and I've done karate actually. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, for a year, but I hated it. All we did was like play games and stuff. <laughs> I wanted to like learn how to fight. I've watched, uh, <laughs> I remember I watched Karate Kid like a hundred times and I was ready to really fight. <laughs> and we came there and we did the all like just games and it was just like, I feel like I didn't learn anything. <laughs> okay, except, to, except for your own gym, what's the best climbing gym you've been to? Um, I think I haven't been to the new one in Innsbruck, but I've been to the old one, mm -hmm. and that is probably probably the best one. Not because the, the the gym is so good, but because the route setting is so good. Oh, okay. They had so many hard, uh, like the majority of routes were really hard. It's not a commercial gym, so they set. I mean, they set for also for uh, normal people, but they set for competition climbers. Mm. So they're like all really hard. Yeah. Because I understand that you, yeah, you won't make money if you make a lot of hard routes. Although that's yeah, if it's a commercial gym, mm -hmm. it makes no sense to make like eight Bs and stuff because no one's strong enough to, or the majority is not strong enough to try that. Mm. What's your favorite food and what's your favorite movie? I think food right now is sushi, probably. Yeah. Um, and my favorite movie, well, like growing up, I remember. Uh, like Fight Club is yeah. one of my favorite. 
The Matrix, uh, Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels, Snatch. What else? That's a lot of yeah, fun. That's a few. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Marcus? Uh, Fight Club is uh, probably one of my favorites. Yeah. That and uh, No Country for Old Men. Yeah, that's really I, yeah, good. That's... I I showed that uh, that to you. We watched that. <laughs> oh, that's my I was just like, I have movie. to rewatch that. Yeah. But Mata was afraid the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My, my that... favorite movie is definitely Shutter Island. Yeah, Shutter. Island. Oh, mm. that's, yeah, that's so good. good too. Yeah, it's just annoying that you can't rewatch yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But it's uh, uh, yeah, that, that was an amazing movie. I have a question, Magnus. Yeah. Do you still uh, do your abs program that you did mm. early on uh, in the channel? Yeah, I, I do it like it's a little bit on and off. Yeah. Like one week I can do it four times uh, in a week and then the next week I won't do it at all. Yeah. Mm. But I still do it and that's something I've done since I was 12 years old. Uh, so, I mean, that's the, and in that program there's a, like in total around 60 push-ups or something yeah so that is like the and the i think I've, I've showed that program in a few videos already yeah. um mm -hmm. but it, it's not climbing related at all it's just something i always done just to feel that i did a little bit extra mm -hmm. so i did that before going to bed usually yeah it's just so that program takes like is half really, an hour. really hard uh, yeah it's, it's really hard if you haven't done it before but for me <laughs> Since that, it's just a routine, so for me it was like brushing my teeth. Yeah. It's just, yeah. And yeah, what's your hair routine? <laughs> yeah, I've uh, answered that before in a Q&A. <laughs> yeah. I showed the wax that I'm using. <laughs> I, I don't know why uh, people ask that though. No, I don't either. But <laughs> I was going to be rude. Oh, maybe. okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's kind of like... I'm not like, oh, I would never yeah, take so your if, hair tips. <laughs> <laughs> no, but if my hair is shorter, then I usually t uh, apply the wax when it's dry. And mm -hmm. then if I have long hair, I can't put wax in because then it's just gonna go everywhere. So then I need to put water in my in my hair first. Yeah. And then comb it nicely, and then I can put in the wax. Yeah, okay. So right now it's like medium long. I will probably go uh, cut my hair in like a week or two. Mm. And now I need to put a little bit of water in. Uh, if I don't go straight out of the shower, I need to put a little bit of water in before applying the wax. So <laughs> wax on, wax off. <laughs> Karate kid. Your hair looks great though. That was a joke. <laughs> There are a lot of people asking what's your favorite climbing hold and like what's your least favorite climbing hold? Pinches. I pinches love pinches. Up. Big pinches. <laughs> That's the size of like a nice thigh. <laughs> That's so weird. Yeah. No, but it's just what you prefer. Like I, yeah, I prefer pinches because that's my strength. Yeah. And uh, I hate the really sharp, small uh, crimpers. And that's usually if you're a little bit heavier than you tend to not like the, the smaller, sharper holds. You know, it makes sense because a fun fact about Magnus is that he pinches in his sleep. So when he sleeps, if he has a hand on you, he'll be like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I watched you when you slept the other day and he was having his own arm. Uh, he was holding his, uh, his own arm and he, was, he, go, he went like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm training in my sleep. <laughs> yeah, he was like <laughs> having this. So that's kind of interesting. So you see they're really like pink yeah and that's bad i mean it hurts but it also they sweat more when they're like this okay. and uh especially if you climb a lot on volumes you're gonna wear out your skin more quickly you see it's like the pink uh yeah pink tips the, oh, but the problem is just that they sweat more so you yeah. just feel like you grease off everything and i haven't wore i haven't used anti hydro in a while and I think that's why the skin wears out so quickly.
Nice. I'm gonna give the blue one more try. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I, I can't believe I flashed this one. It's, it feels so hard now. And... Oh, no, it hurts too much right yeah. now. You can you can roll the clip of me doing it earlier. How much do you weigh? I weigh, right now, I weigh uh, 70 kilos exactly. Yeah. What keeps you away from trad climbing? I think the main thing that keeps me away from trad climbing is the fact that there's just so much hassle to it. Like before, cl before climbing, you need to plan out what, what gear to bring up, like what sizes of, of cams and nuts. And also, if you fall on a route, you need to clean the whole route. And yeah. cleaning a trad route takes oh. a lot of time. Why do you have to cl clean it? Because you need to place the placements when you, if you want to do the route, you have to go ground up and you have to place everything. Oh yes, yeah, so you have to remove. Mm. So you have to go up and you have to remove all the gear you put in. Yeah. And then restart. So there's just, I don't know. For me, sport climbing is just so much easier, and I've always been more attracted to just the movement of climbing. Yeah. Uh, which is why I also like bouldering, mm. and I don't judge anyone who likes to just top rope who is afraid of leading either. I mean, it's still, I mean, it's kind of, you get more flow when you climb with a top rope than when you lead to climb. Mm. Um, so I, yeah, I think that's why I haven't been more into it, but I like to do it once in a while. And especially, I don't know, I like the more like easier uh, track climbs, you know, mm. the big walls where you don't really fall, you just climb uh, for a long time. Mm. Those I I like more. Hmm. What's the best way to get back into shape for climbing after this quarantine period? What's the best way? Mm -hmm. To get back into Just shape. Just go to the gym and climb a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not that it's not that complicated. Mm. I do think though that you should uh, not start too hard. Try to do more volume in the beginning. I think it's easy to start again and you pick up exactly where you where you left it. Yeah. So if you, your max is 7A, you go straight on 7A. I think it's good if you the first few days you do more volume, you do a lot of like 6B pluses and then gradually 6C and then maybe uh, wait a few days before you start trying your max again. Yeah. So you don't get injured. Yeah. Yeah. And also so you get you get some confidence. Yeah. I think it's hard coming yeah. back to the gym and then yeah. Oh here's one. Uh, can you say hi to Marcus for me from Magnus Smith 99? You know him? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a friend. <laughs> <laughs> How many girlfriends have you had? <laughs> <laughs> Is 16 too old to still get good at competition climbing? Um, I don't think it's it's not too old if you're really dedicated, but it's definitely uh, if you want to be like uh, world class, uh, it's pretty late. Yeah. So you would have to you ha you would have to work harder than people who started when they were like now nowadays people start when they're like six and seven Jeez. and they <laughs> climb like eight Bs by the time they're ten years old. 
So <laughs> you would definitely you have some uh, some catching up to do yeah. if you start at 16. <laughs> but if you have like good genetics, maybe and <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, I started pretty late. I started when I was like 11, 10, mm-hmm. 11. So I think I was 11 years old when I did eight day, mm-hmm. and then I did one new grade for every year. So I did eight day plus when I was 12. I did eight B when I was 13. I did 8B plus when I was 14, I did 8C when I was 15, uh, 8C plus when I was 16, and then 9A when I was 17. Jeez, that's... Uh, I think, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, and yeah. then 9, 9A plus I think even when I was 18. Hmm. So yeah. Will you make a women's climbing clothes collection? Yeah, we. I think we will. I mean, right now we have a designer working for us, she's a female. And she wants to make clothes that she can wear, so yeah, we will. But the thing is that I think right now the percentage of people watching uh, my YouTube channel is, I think it's only 7% women or something. Mm-hmm. So yes. of course it's a very, I mean, it's a small uh, market for it. Mm-hmm. Um, That'd be fun. I'd love that. Yeah, you love that. <laughs> but these clothes can definitely be worn by both. Yeah, it's unisex. What's up with your pinky fingers? They don't look like they can straighten all the way. Yeah, you always make fun of that too. <laughs> They're like this just because of all the climbing I've done. It's like, yeah, like all my fingers are like this. This is the most comfortable position for them to be in. And then this is like, I have to, I mean, you have to push, I have yeah. to push them out for, for them to look normal. Because yeah, when, he actually, like when, he's gonna, when he's going to, when normal people do like this, when they're explaining something, Magnus will be like, <laughs> <laughs> If you met the younger version of yourself, would you tell him to follow in your footsteps? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, my life turned out great, but... You could have had a different girlfriend, maybe? (laughs) (laughs) But I mean, it could have also not turned out so great. It was a lot of luck, too. Because I have no, I have absolutely no education uh, after high school. Um, And the climbing thing, I mean, honestly, I didn't make much money while being a professional climber, and if the whole climbing gym and YouTube hadn't worked out, I probably would have been working at like a supermarket or flipping burgers at McDonald's or something right now. Mm-hmm. So I took a lot of risk following my dream. I mean, it sounds like a cliche to say it, but I did follow my dream. So, mm. um, But it could have turned out completely different if it wasn't for this gym and for, for the YouTube channel and everything. So mm-hmm. have you tried speed climbing? Um, I have tried speed climbing a couple of times. And I think it would be maybe fun to make a video trying to speed climb and just see how much we could progress uh, in like a couple of days or something. Mm -hmm. But there are not so many speed walls in Norway, so we would have to travel pretty far to get to a speed wall. Um, But uh, I've never been a fan of speed climbing just because it's like, it's the same thing, you know, it's not about problem solving in the way that bouldering and lead climbing is about solving how to get up the wall. But speed climbing is the same every time. That's why I've never been so attracted to speed climbing. But now that it's Olympic and I mean, it's blowing up. So it'd be fun to, to try to improve on it. So this blue one here is actually the only problem I haven't done. And I don't know why I saved that for last. Or I, actually, I do know why I saved it for last because it takes so much skin. Yeah. Uh, and now I'm, I were already like, Pretty low on skin, so we might uh, see some blood. How did I do this first try now? What? Nice. <laughs> oh. Is that you doing it too? Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Much different at the same time. <laughs> well, I had no. I, I did not think I was going to do this because I tried it so many times the other session and now I'm like completely. My skin is worn out and everything. Jeez. And I felt useless on that 70 plus. Yeah. Everything 
it's hard on slap, like honestly. So that was the last bowler. I'm just really disappointed that I didn't do the 7C plus. But at least I did it last time, which makes it a little bit more annoying almost, especially since I flashed it that time. Yeah. But at least we have the footage and we can show you guys. Mm. I'm happy that I did this uh, 7A behind me. I think that was it for this video. Um, please uh, consider subscribing if you're not already. Like, follow Marta and Marcus on Instagram. And uh, remember to turn on the post notifications comment for the algorithm and we'll see you next time.